hey welcome to my channel so today's video is a four week update of this <laughs> little little bean you say hi hi <laughs> so i've already put up a video all about my birth with nova so if you want to see that then check it out it's on my channel the babies love light so she loves this room because she loves just like staring out of our out of our window you can have the window sweet girl uh yes so i'll put some notes on my phone because you know baby brain can't think straight she settled into day and night really quickly which i was very grateful for so within the first few days she was kind of having a little bit more moments of awake time in the day and then in the night um was really good really early on at waking and feeding and then just going straight down back into her bed so we've got her in a sleepy head in a snooze pod next to our bed so the kind of three-sided bed with jet i had um like a little swinging crib next to our bed and i found it really annoying for my back like every time i had to get him up i had to like act properly like get out of bed pick him up bring him back into bed so it's really nice with the snooze pod, just being able to kind of like roll over and pull her over. So I'm really grateful for that, that she's, she goes back down because Jet didn't do that at all. Jet took a while, he would feed and then he'd need to be kind of like rocked and held and he slept on me a lot, where she, yeah, was really good really quickly at just going straight back into her bed. Having said that, the last week she hasn't been as good, but I think, so they obviously live underwater for nine months and then when they're born, their insides are still kind of full, full of this like weird gunk and wateriness and so i think at the moment she's going through a stage the last bits are being released so she just sounds really snotty and phlegmy and um like quite like snores quite loudly and she just sounds like she's got a really really full-on cold and then this like kind of gunky stuff is coming out of her nose and so i think that's probably why this last week she hasn't slept as well because then when i lay her down flat i think it all gets a bit like kind of up in her head so it's not very comfortable for her so we have actually tilted her snooze pod slightly her head slightly raised which has definitely helped a bit but she's just needing a lot more help falling asleep at the moment but i'm not too worried because she did well at first so i'm sure that's her kind of natural disposition is to be a great sleeper <laughs> so i'd say in the night in a good night she's waking every two to three hours for a feed but bad nights like last night she basically was just up the whole night <laughs> she fed at 11 1 2 30 3 30 5 7 but then even in between those she was quite restless and would slept on me quite a bit in her bed a bit but not really and so yeah i just feel like i didn't really i don't feel like there was ever a point ever a point last night where there was like a proper stint of sleep it just was kind of like moments of napping and then awake again it's only been four weeks but in those four weeks i'd say normally every two to three hours she wakes has a feed and then goes back down again so that I count my lucky stars. It just, it basically just feels at the moment like you can't really guess what's gonna be. So like the other night, like two nights ago, she, I fed her at like nine and then she didn't wake for feed till half past two. So that was amazing. And then obviously other nights it's totally different. So she likes sleeping on her side. She doesn't like being on her back. When she's on her back, she does the kind of startle thing. And I think as well with her, with her, like I was saying with all the gunk and stuff that can like, and because she's being sick quite a lot. The first night she was sick and then kind of swallowed it back and then got really upset. And I didn't like that at all. And so I've had her on her side now in her, in her sleepy head, which she likes a lot more. So I kind of wrap her blanket nice and tightly around her. And then she's on her side and kind of all like balled up and just looks, just, just looks so much comfier than being on her back. I'm just doing on demand for breastfeeding. I kind of had it in my mind the whole three hourly thing of like, um, just to try and start getting some sort of routine, like seven, 10 1 4 7 10 i haven't really been following that yet again i feel like it's just such early days and it works really well with jet for her to just be kind of like feeding on demand and i don't necessarily know where i'm going to be at what point and yeah i don't know it just it's feeling easier at the moment just to kind of feed on demand and then see how we go from there oh i've also um found i've had to be a lot more disciplined with napping i was rubbish at napping with jet and i think because i only had one my days were just generally a lot slower and more chilled anyway whereas now obviously having two i've got to be full of energy for jet taking him out going to the farm doing all our usual things and so i've had to be a lot more more disciplined with like at lunchtime when he goes down make sure that i'm having a nap as well otherwise i just can't see it through the day <laughs> she's definitely a lot more antsy than her brother was jet was very 
chilled, would lie on his sleepy head for a long period of time. And um, although I having said that, although I said obviously at night he needed a bit more help, but in the day, yeah, I don't know, he's just a bit more chilled, I feel like. Whereas with Nova, she needs to be held most of the time. I basically always have her either in the sling or in my arms. And obviously with Jet, I wouldn't have noticed that, but, but now with Nova, because she's the second child, I find it a bit harder that she's needing to be held because obviously I'm then trying to deal with Jet, trying to pick him up or trying to cook his dinner or just generally trying to like get us all in the car or something. And then she, while I'm just trying to like pack our bags and get him ready, she wants to be in my arms. So that's, that's a bit harder, but I'm just trying really hard to focus on the fact that she's not gonna be a newborn forever and she's not gonna wanna be held forever. And so I kind of just need to go with it. And Jet, bless him, is definitely having to learn a lot about patience. <laughs> a lot about waiting while I just take forever to get us all out the front door. But we're getting there. She just needs more cuddles than he did, which I guess is a nice thing. I need to see that as a lovely positive thing rather than a, I don't have, my arms free at any point type thing. There's a lot more baby sick than I remember. Like she's like really quite sick after every feed. So I just sit her up and burp her. And then I feel like she's then just kind of like sick on and off little bits until the next feed comes. It's not kind of like she burps and she's sick and then it's done for a few hours. It just feels like kind of constantly just like little bits of sick are just like always, always coming out. So I don't remember, I don't know if that's, yeah. I can't remember with Jet if that happened or not. It means we're getting through a lot of muslins and we're being sicked on quite a lot. It, the most annoying thing is we've like got her all dressed, put her in her snowsuit, got her in the car seat ready to go. And then she's like projectile vomited all over herself, all over the seat, all over her outfit. And then you have to change everything. That was annoying. Her uh, umbilical cord is off obviously after four weeks. So I think it came off after about 10 days. Um, and we didn't give her a bath until then. So until then we were just using cotton pads and uh, like boiled water, but obviously once it had cooled down, washing her, but not giving her a full bath. And then when, once her umbilical cord had come off and that looked uh, nice and dry, she had a bath with Jet, which the first time they both hated, but then since then they've really enjoyed. So we still don't bath her every day, kind of every few days and then wash her in between. On her, her day one or day two, she was, doing this like really shivery thing quite a lot where like her teeth would kind of chatter and her whole body would shiver. And I know babies have that thing where they're um, getting their reflex, re reflexes and they do the like startles, almost like when you're falling asleep and then you jump. They do those, but this didn't look like that. This, this felt a bit different. It felt like she was like really, really cold and was kind of shivering. And so I phoned our midwife who had been due to visit, visit us that day, but then they'd had loads of home births. They hadn't been able to come out. And so they'd said, phone if there's anything in particular you need us to come out for. I just didn't quite feel right about it. So I phoned her and she like popped straight round, was amazing. And she basically was saying that that's often a sign of low glucose, that Nova had been feeding really well. So I'm not really sure what it was. And then within, a, within like the next 24 hours, it had subsided. So I don't know what it was, but I would say if you are worried about anything, definitely just phone your triage or your whoever are your midwives that are gonna be coming and visiting you because you can never be too sure. And it's even if they don't need to come around, if they just give you advice on the phone, it's just nice to have peace of mind. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I mean, she's four weeks old. There's not much to say. She's sleeping when she wants, feeding when she wants, pooing when she wants. <laughs> she So she was born at eight pounds seven and then has just been piling on the weight ever since then. She's quite a chunk. I don't actually know what she weighs now. Last time she was weighed was at maybe two weeks and she was almost 10 pounds. I'm not sure what she weighs. What she weighs now, Mrs. Chunky. Are we keeping you up? She needs a nap after keeping mummy up all night. And then for me, stuff I'd forgotten, the first kind of two, three days, every time I breastfed her, your uterus is contracting back to its original size and it really hurts. It's like really intense period pains that made me come over all shivery and cold and just wasn't nice at all. And I found it was really nice to have paracetamol and ibuprofen kind of on the go and then a hot water bottle ready. So every time I knew I was gonna feed her, Henry would run and get a hot water bottle ready and I'd have that on my tummy while feeding her because it really wasn't nice. Apparently it gets worse with each child because I remember having it with Jet, but it wasn't awful. And then I found it much worse this time. So I think it does get a bit worse each time, but it only lasts a couple of days. And then 
it's fine. So that was quite nice knowing in my head, like this isn't gonna be forever. And the hot water bottle massively helped. Oh, I'd also totally forgotten about the crazy sweats you can get. The day after birth. You right? You choking? Oh dear. Oh dear. You can get a lot of water retention in those last few weeks of pregnancy and then obviously that water needs to be released somehow. First few days you can just sweat a lot. And I remember waking up in the middle of the night to feed her and I was literally drenched. It was gross. My hair was matted. I was so sweaty. I had to change my pyjamas. I'd totally forgotten that that happened. I remember now that that did happen with Jet but I just, I'd just totally forgotten. I didn't find I had any of the like crazy different hormonal days. You know you have like day three when your milk comes in. It's supposed to be crazy hormonal I, I didn't really find that I think we were like we were surrounded by family and I was obviously focused a lot on jet as well and so I don't feel like I really noticed any like hormonal changes physically obviously milk coming in can be quite sore because your boobs just go like full and so like rock hard but yeah that's pretty much it four weeks of this let's pick her up again four weeks of this sweet little girl <laughs> it's, it's hard to know how to hold them she's still in that quite like floppy stage Although it's weird because I saw a two week old baby the other day and I realised how much bigger Nova already is. It was the two week old baby was like really like scrunched over and like hunchbacked, whereas Nova's like so big. It's really nice doing these updates because I didn't do them with Jet and now I've found with Nova there's so many things that I've forgotten whether or not Jet did them. It's going to be really nice to kind of have these updates to look back on for if we have another one. That's everything. Thank you so much for watching. Do let me know if you've had a newborn and any advice or. Uh, anything you're finding that I might find interesting, please do comment below. We'll see you soon. Lots of love.